Well, hello everybody. Welcome to this week's um, Women Chat. I'm working on my Victoria's Moon. And this cool little, little, little uh, cover minder is from Rachel Ray. And I got it from my, I got it in my first glitter bomb from her. So it's very cute. Um, let's see if I can roll it down a little bit. So, yes. Um, I'm working on my Victoria's Moon and I think I'm at least halfway, at least. Maybe I need the higher. Yep. I'm not having it as close to me as I'm used to. I'm filming with my phone today in hopes of that I don't have to, you know, stop recording every 30 minutes or 25. So I am starting with the Black Hearts, which is uh, 9.39. So yeah, uh, it's like, it's Sunday the, is it the 16th today? Oh my God, 17th, Sunday, the 17th of November. And it's about quarter to nine in the evening. So it won't be a very long whip and chat. And also because I have a boring life, I don't have much to tell. So I thought actually that I was gonna finish this you know, uh, this part this week. Um, but I've been doing something else. I have actually been cross stitching quite a bit. So I haven't given me the time I should have diamond painting. I have done some, uh, during the week, uh, but uh, I've been quite busy, at least uh, in the afternoons and evenings with my daughter. Because, you know, at this time of year uh, in sixth grade in Sweden, we do something or the children do something that is called the national tests. So every student in her age, sixth grade throughout the whole country, at the same time do these tests. And it's Swedish, English and math. And then the test results are used in well grading the students, unfortunately. Uh, but it's also used for like, I guess like the government or, you know, those who work with school stuff uh, to see how, you know, statistics, how Sweden and kids in her age in Sweden are doing. Yes. And she, yeah, you know, so everything is building up to these tests. So they have a lot of, yeah, they have a lot of homework and stuff to do. So, cool. And what else? Well, sometimes, 
sometimes you're just too tired to be creative. You just want to, you know, have your dinner and sit your ASS in front of the TV and just chill out. Or yeah, sometimes I want to hit, hit the sack earlier, earlier and watch some YouTubes or some something else on Netflix or something. So, yeah, whoops. Oh, you know, I don't know. The wax, this wax is like, I don't know. I have to refill all the time. And I don't know where I got th this waxed from. If it was from one of the AliExpresses, whatever. It uh, drives me mad. Anyway, um... So yeah, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, and I have actually been exercising a little bit more the past week. And that, you know, I'm not, I'm like out for 30 minutes or something. But then you, you need to stretch. You need to take a shower. You need to eat something. So that takes time as well. And. That goes ups and down, up and down. And this Monday, I went to the Weight Watchers. Didn't I talk about that? When did I talk about that? Huh, I don't know. Uh, I went there uh, and signed up again. Did I do a whip and chat last Monday? And last Sunday, maybe. Oh, well, well, I'm going there tomorrow. Whoops, it's not going to be there. I'm going there. Oh, yeah. And the glue on Victoria's wounds are kind of hard. But I've got the power. I can move the drills. I can move them. Uh, yeah, so I'm going there tomorrow to weigh in, you know, after the first week. So I'm a little bit nervous, but that's just because I've been doing well. I've, you know, I haven't taken, you know, a second uh, portion of food. I haven't eaten any chips or ice cream or, you know, anything. But yesterday, uh, our working colleague had invited uh, some of us, like the group of girls that work together. She invited us home on a three course meal. Oh my God. And it was her husband who <laughs> uh, cooked and it was delicious. And no, I didn't overeat, but I mean, it wasn't just a couple of boiled eggs as I usually, if I, well, as I eat sometime. Or this was like, as an, what do you call that, appetizer, uh, we got like uh, Italian dried salamis or meat, uh, ham salamis, I think. Uh, four different ones and they're sliced very very thin and there was some cheese different cheeses olives and a little bit of salad and then he had made risotto and fried them into small risotto balls do you call that that yeah and it was so good. So that was just the appetizer. And then for dinner, uh, I had asked for chicken because I'm not a meat person. Well, chicken is meat, of course, but not that other kind of meat. And so I got chicken and potatoes on a bed of roasted greens. 
very 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 nice and some red wine sauce but i just took a little bit of it and then came the dessert oh my god it was white chocolate mousse it was like very very nice it tasted so good and I had water, some cola, I won't say the name of the brand, and I had a Danish beer. I usually don't drink. Yeah, I usually keep to the alcohol free stuff but yesterday I said yes thank you to one of those and oh, it tastes so good so that's why I'm a little bit worried but I mean it's not a diet I'm not joining I haven't joined the Weight Watchers I've been there before I'm I'm not joining, you know, for dieting. I'm there, you know, to take control over myself and the eating habits I have. But we'll see. Oh, and I was totally starstruck as well. Uh, it was like Tuesday last week. Uh, second chance uh, the hiker his name is Corey I think he lives in Florida anyway I've been following his journey since January this year while he was you know taking on the PCT on and he started out 400 pounds you know and he's weighing in on Tuesdays um, and I commented on his video and told him about myself, you know, my own journey. And he actually responded, you know, that he was going to keep an eye out for my name and to follow my progress as I'm following his. I mean, I was like, what? <laughs> it's, it's so silly because I know that you know most of us on youtube youtube we you know we're just normal people we're not any uh you know famous in any way but some of you guys do get famous and he's one of them in in the hiking community anyway um so i'm very happy about that And I feel the same that the same way when some of the uh, diamond painters that have, the, you know, the creators on YouTube also re respond to uh, a comment you have left. So it's, it's really nice. Um, yeah. Yeah, today, uh, my daughter loves to have, you know, all kinds of crazy colors in her hair, but she's not so old, so um, she can't go all that crazy, um, not when it's the hairdresser doing it, but lately she's been having like uh, a bluish hair and today she asked me to put in some purple no violet violet uh, on top of the color she had and uh, it's it's one of those um, it's not permanent colors I've put in it you it's gonna wash out in time so we did that today and it turned out really nice I really liked it. So it's it's kind of 
purple uh, but still it looks kind of neutral not as crazy as blue so yeah um so let's talk about victoria's moon um yeah i have had some poppins but i can't no i I'm enjoying this uh, diamond painting. I am. It's uh, very nice and simple. There isn't a lot of trash. I mean, I'm halfway at least. And, you know, I don't know if you can see it, but that is not a lot of trash. Uh, I don't like the training wheels. Still, I know I mentioned that the last time, but I don't. Um, and I'm not sure if this wax is from this kit but if it is I don't like that but I I don't know I usually just throw all the wax you know in the same place and the only one I can tell the difference from is uh, diamond art clubs because those are hard shaped as you all know <clears throat> So yeah, um, but it's nice, and I, I think, I said that before. I think that the picture is a bit blurry, uh, but it's kind of rolled up. So either maybe I won't be done until the next um, time. Rachel Ray wants me to send a weapon chat, but maybe no. I've changed my tier from her at her Patreon uh, because of, of you know financial situation. It's it's Christmas is coming up and stuff, so I need to hold back a little bit. And there is another reason, and it's cross stitch related. So yeah. Um, I'll talk about it on my floss tube. Oh yeah, I've started a floss tube. It's cool. I have episode one out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not... That's the bad thing. That's maybe... Sometimes you wish that you did get some kind of... Um, you know, some sort of money from YouTube so you could reinvest it and, you know, buy things to try out and to show up uh, and all this. So now you have to use your own money from, yeah, your own pocket. So, but yeah, Christmas is coming up and I need to... <clears throat> hold back and I also signed up for the Weight Watchers and that cost like about the same amount I paid for the Patreon and the sad thing is also that you know you have to pay tax on the Patreon amount so it turned out to be quite a bit more than I expected. So yeah, but maybe after New Year's I can upgrade it again because I really like to support her. Um, yeah, anyway, um, so like if I was gonna post a whip, uh, then I would roll out um, the, the painting and then I could, you know, take a picture and see if it is blurry. But, but then again, you know, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to frame it. I'm really just enjoying the process. I need to get this done now. Now. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit the table like that. I need to get finished because... 
I want to start the Tin Soldier from Diamond Art Club. And I haven't even started a Diamond Art Club at all. And I have bought quite a few. So I need to force myself to finish Victoria's Moon. Because then I don't have this thing hanging over me anymore. And after that, you know. And I have my my head, head, my heaven and earth uh, designs, diamond painting as well. Jeez. See? Now the wax doesn't want to stick to the pearls. I don't know what, or the drills. I don't know what's wrong. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I really want to do the Tin Soldier now, around Christmas. So, and I know if I really, you know, set aside everything, I would finish this lion quite fast. I would. So maybe I should do that. But then I joined that stitch along um, with the Harry Potter letters from Hogwarts. And the first letter is coming out in January. And I want to be finished with the border and everything. And I just started it this week. So I'm feeling a little bit pressure. But talking about feeling pressure. Um, the same goes with this. Uh, since the diamond painting came from the Victorious Moon. And um, you feel... Well, I feel kind of obligated to... You know, finish it and make a post review and give them the links to the videos. And then, you know, I have done my part for accepting a free um, diamond painting to review. And, you know, uh, when you get the opportunity to do that and you say yes, you know, you kind of feel like you have to work through it you, you know you I, I wouldn't feel it wouldn't feel fair to them if I would just set it aside and say well it's Christmas I need to diamond paint it something else or yeah whatever so I just want to be finished and I like this diamond painting I have I have no complaints really I don't know um I, yeah, I've been lucky, so, but I, I feel, you know, the, <clears throat> I don't feel pressure, how can you say that, um, well, it's not that this is a diamond painting I just bought and I'm just, you know, diamond painting it. Because I'm doing it, you know, for them. So I feel I have to, yeah, the obligation to do it, to finish. So, and they did say um, that when I have finished, they could send me a new one. And that's very nice of them. It is. Uh, and it might be very hard to say no to that. Uh, because I've enjoyed this part very much and think it's great. Um, but then I don't fee want to feel that uh, pressure or obligation to, you know, to be tied up with them and with that diamond painting because I would feel like that when it came I would have to not only just unbox it, they want you to to diamond paint it and talk about it while you do it. So I would feel pressure for doing it. You know, you have to do this first. You have to prioritize this diamond painting before any other. And I don't... I know me and when it, when it comes to that, you know, when you're pressured to 
something that you have to finish. You have to do it in a certain time and a certain amount. Um, the hobby enjoyment is like, for me, it disappears. I don't want it to be work because I'm already working my 40 hours a week, right? So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I just want to enjoy. I want to do Diamond Art Club. I need to do those. And I have some ever moment in KW, what do you call it? Cuff W key, right? Yeah, that's the name. And my heaven and earth. And the cross stitching. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I also did a uh, watercolor video which actually took me two days um, I need to do something there I mean they they turn out to be so long and I need to edit them and it takes a long time I don't know I want them to be shorter but it takes me a long time to, you know, to paint and, yeah. I want to, I want to change that in some way. And then, like, what am I going to remove, you know? I could remove everything because nobody wants to, to watch me paint anyway. I just do it for fun, you know? But yeah, I colored a page from um, Joanna Basford's color book, one of them. I think it was uh, Enchanted Forest. So I um, copied one of the pages and uh, traced it over to watercolor paper and then colored it with watercolor. And that was uh, great fun and very um educational let's see i need to open up the inventory um no the legend i have taken a picture of it so i have it on my phone here to the right come see come see yeah so the dark is done i want to do the ha the moons the half moons And I need to go tell my daughter to finish up. I'll be right back. Okay. <clears throat> so I will continue with... Um, 336 yeah and I got um actually got overwhelmed I think with all the diamond painting and cross stitching and sketching and coloring and watching YouTube, keeping up with all the channels and their new videos and keeping up with my own videos, making content and then, you know, trying to be creative and hoping for stuff to, you know, happen so I could, you know, tell stuff and you want to order things to, you know, to review them and talk about it and it 
got too much. I'm just correcting the drills here because you can see the training wheel and I just hate it. I don't like training wheels. I do not like training wheels. Um, so when I get to that point, I just kind of turn off. I don't want to be part of anything. And I don't want that either <clears throat> because I enjoy it and I found out about so many new creators and you know the whole diamond painting thing and I just don't want to just give it up I want to I want to be a part of it but I think uh, yeah I'm already very stressed out um, so I think I don't need a lot to you know tip me over where everything is just too much so but now I'm I'm getting back so um, I've decided I cannot watch every video from it you know from everybody um, there is only one channel I feel about that way uh, at the moment um, so yeah so I will randomly you know check like I'm checking the list who put out some videos and uh, yeah, what am I in the mood for? And then I watch that. And then, you know, in some weeks where I'm like cooling off a little bit, I'll go back and look at old, older videos. So that's good that, you know, with, even with the lives that they get saved so uh, we can watch it afterwards so that's very nice and also since I you know I'm kind of more into the cross stitching uh, and I'm not, I'm not surprised because yeah, it always happens but if I pick up that needle I try a new pattern or something I'm hooked and I feel so comfortable cross stitching so um, what, what 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 where was I getting at with this um yeah oh yeah so when now I want to search for you know floss to videos because yeah you watch what you want at the moment <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but oh yes you know I'm saying I'm feeling so comfortable comfortable cross stitching and yeah you know no I shouldn't take it talk about it on the diamond painting my woven chat. I'm feeling a bit tired actually. I feel like I'm like mumbling and just not <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um yeah anyway. I don't think I have frogged as much as I have on this Harry Potter stitch along <laughs> and I think it's because I'm so used to gritting and I haven't on this one just you know I marked out the the center lines and I thought well you know it's not so much the stitch it's just counting 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 and I don't I bought 28 count weave well I shouldn't have 
I usually stitch on 25 counts, so yeah. Anyway, let's not talk about that here. So, um, Donna Payne. Oh, yes, I got my missing Arya start drills. Yay! So, pressure, pressure. I need to finish that so I can do the post review. Yep. And I got a new uh, painting from Sophie's Beauty. It was round drills. And they too have training wheels, unfortunately. Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, there were some very unclear symbols on that painting. Eesh, I don't know. I hope that the light pad or the light board is going to solve that problem. I hope so. Hold on. Be clear. Be new clear. Be new clear, mina. Yeah, uh, oh. I, I think uh, the light pad is going to help. I hope so. Yeah, the colors were just amazing. They were like really all orange and reds and browns. Oh, it was so beautiful. So beautiful. Oh my god, yeah, I just thought of something I think is funny. Um, my, well, it's about my daughter. Um, we have a saying in Sweden about, uh, like, cooking and food. That different tastes, in Swedish we say the tastes marry each other I think in English you say that the taste pair each other and anyway my let's just say that it's called the tastes marry each other and my daughter had just heard this uh, way of saying things so in the mornings we have this uh, morning show with news and stuff and they have like 15 min minutes of cooking as well and i heard that this lady said that that the the taste married each other and then um the other day i made some chili con carne i don't know how you pronounce that in english and it's one of my daughter's favorite dishes. And well, you know, I don't know. The dinner was ready, but it was like standing on the, um, oh, not the oven, the, the stove, the stove. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> My daughter, she's like standing there staring down into the pot for quite a while. And I'm like, what are you doing? And she's dead serious. I'm standing here marrying the food. <laughs> I'm like, okay, yes, you got that right. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love when kids do that. When they, yeah, I love when they do that. So, so what else happened this gone past week? So at work, I have a student with me. 
I only worked two days last week and I cannot believe I didn't well I don't know what I've been doing but but yeah I have a student with me and I'm gonna have the student with me this week this coming week and I I enjoy that I love to teach um, yeah so that the days of work goes very fast when she's with me the downside to it is that I don't get to have my office to myself so And yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I did apply for a new position at work. Um, and the last day for applying to this job was, yeah, it was last week on the 11th. And I still haven't heard anything. So I was hoping for an interview anyways. Um, but there is a lot of things going on at the hospital. Um, well, financial stuff. So sometimes, well, right now we have like big, say a big saving and they need to, well, not fire people. We don't fire people in Sweden. Uh, not, not uh, if you're um, uh, employed by the, it's not called the state. Um, anyway, um, like, for example, in schools and at the hospitals and kindergartens and all these uh, places. Um, but if uh, we need to do some savings at work, like at the hospital, uh, you don't fire people, but if somebody quits or um, what do you call it? Uh, when you're 65, you go you go into pension. What do you, how do you say that in English? Anyway, then you don't uh, replace that person with a new person. So you have you have saved that position. So uh, I'm a little bit afraid that they are doing that. Um, so we'll see. I'm not going to cry if I don't get to the interview. I'm, I'm fine where I am. And I will just focus on other things in life. For example, my hobbies, which are very, uh, and YouTube, which is very uh, developing for me, and I enjoy that. Yes, isn't he cute? <laughs> I love it. Uh, and in the second glitter bo glitter bomb, the yes, I am so tired. I got a white one but uh, it was a lot smaller and it's so cute so darn cute but so did my daughter think so she took it or she's borrowing it uh, and she has it on her diamond painting so that's kind of nice so yeah and what's what's so good with cover minders is that you also have them as needle minders so they have multiple functions yes and we like that and now i feel like the wax in the pen is dry he hates it
and I understand there is a lot of things going on on YouTube with uh, rules and laws and copyrights and everything and I have to agree with uh, Tiny World So Wonder I think her name is she posted a video about the copyright and yeah I agree uh, the creators of YouTube need to also be responsible of what we are showing on our channels. Um, that was a very nice video she made about it. And um, yeah. It was uh, not a wake up call, but a mind opener. Yeah. A mind and eye opener. Yes. So thanks, Tiny Worlds of Wonder. Uh, I totally uh, um, send you all my respect for that video and for taking a stand and um, I think you gave a lot of people uh, something to think about and this other thing with the oh it has uh, well with the law and protecting children and having well the material in your on your youtube channel if it's for kids or not and if what we're doing on our channels is appealing to the children and i'm like but okay uh i totally understand um but also like Rachel Ray says that parents should also take the responsibility and, you know, not let your child look at just anything. Uh, sometimes we don't know what our children are looking at, of course, unless you let the child use your account on YouTube and you can see it. Uh, but the thing with this the content if it's appealing to children do they mean like i'm just thinking we have people in sweden who makes a lot a lot of money on youtube on games on gaming you know uh computer games and they're filming and talking while they play the games and yeah they're making a lot of money on this uh, some are millionaires. So, I bet you a lot of money that there's a lot of kids watching their videos. And a lot of those games are very appealing to children. Does that mean that they're not allowed to have any commercial or comment, commenting or anything? On those videos or for example yeah I, I mean we have we have a lot of youtubers where you know most of their fans are children not four-year-olds of course but younger children Yeah, I think it's going to be very exciting. No, not exciting. Interesting to see the development of this, but um, I don't have the link to the petition site, but I did go and sign it. I did. I signed it for the creators I'm following 
who will be maybe um, affected by it uh, but also because I do agree that it has to be more clear what they mean with all this so. yeah I'm sorry I feel very very tired I should stop and go to bed make myself a cup of caffeine free coffee and watch some YouTube yay Oh, I actually think that Grey's Anatomy season, I think it's season, season 15, which is the latest season which are being released on DVD in Sweden. I don't think it's 16, because I think it's 16, which is being shown on TV now. And I haven't started watching the series. Oh my God, I cannot, I cannot believe that I, that I haven't even started last year just uh when they were released on via set no not via set via play i watched all 14 seasons i don't know i think it took me two months or something but i was watching a lot <laughs> a lot of Grey's anatomy i just love that show i love it I love the uh, hospital shows. And actually, I didn't think that Grey's Anatomy would be more than 15 seasons like uh, ER. I didn't, I don't know. But now there are one more. So, yeah. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see if there are some new characters and what's going to happen with the old ones. I've also started watching a series on... It's on... Is it on Netflix? Or is it on a Swedish TV? But it's with Sean Penn. It's a series called The First. It's about something with going to March. Mars. Not March. Jesus. Mars. It's because the month March in Swedish is called Mars. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love languages. And I really want to go to the retreat, Rachel Ray's retreat next year. And I think that I would be able to save up. But do you know what's holding me back? It's getting there. You know, not only, do you know, I can, you know, take the bus to the airport and then take the flight to wherever in Ireland I need to go but it's the next part where I'm like I don't know you know it's something with you have to get a rental car and driving around in another country which is on the wrong side of the road eh, I don't feel comfortable driving around in places I don't know here in Sweden so yeah It would be so cool to meet, to, you know, to go to a retreat and, you know, meet people, hopefully, that, you know, you have met on YouTube. When, where there is usually, like, they're a name. And all of a sudden there is, like, a person. And I'm not only talking about Rachel, I'm, I'm talking about everyone else who would go there for the retreat. So yeah, we have retreats in Sweden. I don't think we have a diamond painting retreat, but I know there is 
quilting retreats. Not that quilting is very big in Sweden, but it exists. Uh, oh yeah, I definitely definitely think that there's like knitting. But I don't know, is there really retreats? I know that there is like uh, arts retreat. But it, it sounds so nice. I when I listen to or watch Stitcherist Stitcheristess Stitcherist yeah, her uh, videos on her retreats. It just sounds so fun. Yeah. And then somebody says, Well, maybe you could host a retreat. I could. But no. I'm not that kind of person who likes to organize those kinds of things. So I will finish these M's, which is 550. And then I'm gonna hit the set. I'm getting up at 5.30 tomorrow morning. For work. Oh, and last week it was a very nice and calm at work. There weren't, you know, that much to do. So we could help out in other places and stuff, but yeah, it's not the same stress. So I hope that calmness is still going strong this week. That would be nice. So yeah, um... Uh, I didn't order anything, by the way, on the 11th of November. I decided not to. Um, I might be putting an order down for the Diamond Art Club. Uh, there's another painting. There's a painting there, which I... Uh, been wanting for quite a while. Uh, and it's the it's the two uh, wolves that are howling. Uh, you can find it on Jeremy's um, wall. When I saw it on in his video yeah, those that that's one of those paintings that, you know, bites you. So but then there were so many others I wanted, so I haven't, you know, come to order it yet. So and then, you know, you have to take it easy on ordering stuff. If I had my car I needed to, you know, fix and stuff, so I'm sorry if this was like super boring. Um, I really don't have. I'm so focused on cross stitching now, so I don't have much to say. Um, there are some new cover minders coming out on Retro Ray's uh, Etsy store. Oh man, I'm camping that store. I need one of those minders. Yep. Let's just say I love llamas. Totally. So I hope I hope I have fast fingers. Uh 
well, I'm gonna call it a day. And I will get back to you next week on my next whip and shad. Uh, if I won't be able to find anything to talk about, I, I feel like it's a little bit like blog posts where I just, you know, ramble on about my boring life. Um, but if I feel that I want to put more time into cross stitching, I might just do the whip and shads every second week, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, for now, I will see you next week. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.